Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome to the class. We are going to wait a few minutes for the rest of the people. Good evening, teacher. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, hello everybody, welcome to the class. How are you today after the vacation? Nice. Okay, as usual, nice. As usual, we're gonna start with the platform. So this is the class for today. The report speech, just the questions. And so as usual, you will find there the question or the thing for you to comment. And for, um, Today, we need to finish the homework 2.2. Uh, that is about um, entering the, the report speech there. So that will be it. This time is five, five and uh, five. So it's 10 in total. Please remember to do this. Okay, Wilfredo. Teacher, good evening. Good evening. I, I wanna tell you that I am going to be in a meeting at the church. And okay. it is going to finish around 9 p.m., but I am going to only listen to you. Okay, but perfect. I can participate. Okay, okay. thank That's you. Good. Uh, no. After 9 p.m., I am going to continue with that. Thank you. Perfect. So, uh, another plan. Thank you. So, this is for today, and we're going to check the attendance, of course. 
Ok, let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present issue. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine López Martínez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Good evening. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Perfect. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo. Ugar. Present teacher, sorry. Okay. Microphone no, but. <laughs> It's not working properly. Good. Está relax, relax, microphone. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nelson. Uh -huh. Sorry, you, you say Wendy Molina. Wendy Molina, yes, I say that. Uh, sorry, teacher, present. Okay, I'm going to set you. Uh, Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, my friends, we are going to start the class of today. I know that you really like grammar. So, we are going to continue with grammar. Wonderful. So, this is report speech. Yes, no questions. Okay, it's going to be very, very easy. So, we report yes, no question with if or whether. It's going to be the same, okay? If and whether is going to be exactly the same. So there are some examples because with examples, we learn faster. In the direct speech, we can say, do you want to come? And then we say, I ask him, remember that we need to switch the object pronoun, right? I ask him if he wanted, look at that wanted, we change the verb. We switch it back, do you remember? So I asked him if he wanted to come. The other example, it says, have you fed the dog? Fed, that is the pass of feed, right? Have you fed the dog? My mother asked whether I had fed the dog. Again, we can use if or whether, there is no rule for that one. So that is not, not important actually, but yes, it's important if you are going to switch the verb, switch back the verb. So have you fed the dog is my mother asked whether I have fed the dog, okay? And there is another example. Are you going with us? The teacher asked the kids if they were going with them. Remember to switch the object pronoun. So three things. We're going to use if or whether. Number two, we are going to switch back the verb. 
present goes to past, past goes to past perfect, and you know all those things, right? And the other one, we're going to be careful again with the object pronouns. We need to switch them depending on the C to H. Do you have any questions by now? Anybody? Yeah. More examples? Of course, I have more examples for you. Okay, so here is it. Um, in this case, we have like the formula, of course. So are you okay? So we have the verb, the subject, and the complement. In reported speech, we have said, we asked if or whether, that is a rule. If or whether, then the subject, she, and then the verb, was, in this case, because we change are to was. Was because it's she, okay? Okay. So are you okay goes to she, no, he asked if she was okay or whether she was okay. Okay, do you go home? In this case, we have the auxiliar, then the subject, and then the principal verb, okay? Do you go home? And in the other one, we are going to say, for first of all, the person that is telling the uh, question, he asked. He asked if or whether, then the subject, she, and then the principal verb, went home. Went because in the direct speech, we have go. So we're going to switch back the verb. So it's very similar to the ones that we know already, but in this situation, we're going to use if or whether, okay? And we're going to use ask. Ask is, is better in this kind of situations, okay? Questions? As is because the sentence original are question. Um, could you please repeat the question? I want to be sure. In, in the report speech, the we use ask because the original sentences are questions. Perfect. That is true. Yeah. So since the the original speech is a question, it's like are you eating right now? Then it's a, it's a question, right? So he or she asked, or they asked, or whatever. So that would be the, the proper way. And then, uh, so that is the formula, actually. He or she or the subject asked, then if or whether, then the subject, the subject that was the subject and the principal, right? The verb switched back, and then the complement. That is it. That is it. Teacher, mm -hmm. but using if or whether has a meaning, I understand. Of course. Of because course. I was reading and whether, we use whether when we have to express some doubt or we, or we need to investigate something. Something like that. Actually, in this situation, it's like that because we don't know. We're asking okay. if you are going to do or not. So it's 50 50, right? Okay. So that's why. Okay. But it doesn't matter if I use if or whether. It doesn't matter. You can change them the way that you want. Okay. Good. Okay. Very good. Good evening. Good evening. It's depending on the situation. If you, is, I have used if or whether. No, you can use if or whether, whatever you want. So when you use a reported speech, yes, no question. Remember that these are yes, no questions. So whatever we're using that one, we're going to use if or whether. There is no rule. So you can use the way that you want. My best advice for you is to use both. Once you use if and the other time you use whether because you need to practice everything, right? It's more common if, definitely. But remember that if you don't use one word, in the future, when you go to New York and somebody says whether you want to go or not, you are going to think, what did he say? I don't know. So it's very good idea to practice both. More examples, of course. 
he asked me, are you a student? So that is the direct speech. And the other one is going to be, he asked me if I was a student. So again, we change the subject are, I mean, uh, you for I, and we switch the verb are for was, because now I'm speaking about I, I was. So he asked me if I was a student. The other example says, she asked him, do you speak English? So the reporter speech says, she asked him if he spoke English. Okay. Bob asked us, did you see the new film? So ah, there is another word, actually. We can use wonder. Bob wondered if he had seen the new film. Wonder is when you are thinking, right? When you are thinking, is this true or is not true? Is this going to happen or not? For example, when you at night, you can sleep, right? And you are wondering, tomorrow am I going to do this? Maybe I'm going to drink pata soup. I don't know what am I going to drink. So you're wondering, maybe this is going to happen or maybe not. So that is an, another word that you can use with this kind of sentences, right? So, but the most common is ask because somebody asks a question, right? Teacher, so that is, is right the omit the second pronoun. In this case, the both ask it us in the report speech, both wonder. Well, the ask. thing is that we just yeah, we don't we don't say wonder because in wonder he just thinking, thinking out loud. So ask is because you do an action, you do a question, and it's directed to somebody. If so, you omit the pronouns. Exactly. In this case, wonder is a different verb. It's a verb of, of like thinking, right? You don't think and then say a, a person, think me, think you. No, it's not proper. Ask but me, yes. So that depends right. on the verb. Mm -hmm. But wonder us if no. we have seen no. No, it's not correct. Because um, this verb is an stative verb, so it's like uh, as I was telling you, like like think. Okay. When you say think, you do the action, but nobody receives the action. Mm -hmm. You are yeah. just thinking, right? Okay. But ask, yes, because you ask a question. Okay. Even even to yourself, you can ask a question, and it's going to be correct that one. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Very good observation, actually. So Bob wondered if we had seen the new film. The most common, as I was telling you, is asked. Okay. Do you have any questions? That's my question. I wonder if you have questions. Okay, more mm -hmm. examples. I want this to be clear. When we report yes, no questions, we join using if or whether, and we change the question to a statement word order. So she asked me, are you a student? She asked me if I was a student. So that is another important thing. Are you a student? So in that one, we use first the verb, are you the, the subject. In the other one says, she asked me if I was. So I, the subject is first. And then is the verb. So that is very important, okay? The order on the sentence. So she asked me, are you students? But in the report species, she asked me if I was a student. First the subject and then the verb, like a regular sentence, okay? That is for the simple present. Remember that we're going to change the verb. So in this case, are, we change it uh, to was. Then we have another example with the present progressive. She asked him, are you teaching English now? So we change that into past progressive. She asked him if he was teaching English then, not now, then. Even if it's in the moment, we're going to use then, okay? And remember that we are going to be careful about the order. First is going to be he, the subject, and then it's going to be was in the second part of the clause. Okay. 
and we change from present progressive to past progressive. We have another example that is past progressive. I mean, past simple past. She asked me, did you study English yesterday? So in the past perfect, we're going to say, she asked me if I had studied English the day before, okay? Those little things are very important. And we have one more in present perfect. She asked me, have you ever been to England? So of course we changed that into past perfect. She asked me if I had ever been to England. So we change the subject and we are careful about the order and we're going to use if. That is it. Sure. And what is the reason the why it's important to change the yesterday for the last day? Because the last day is yesterday, yes? Yeah, you know, here in Spanish is um, it's very common. Actually, in English, sometimes it's possible to say that one that way. But it's very common that you say something not in the very moment. So that's why we're going to say maybe not the day before, but uh, a while ago, for example. So if mind that you uh, you are speaking with Rose, and then um, at ten after the class you come and tell me, oh uh, Rose asked me if you and you say something, then the moment passed already. So it's a different situation. So that is the most common situation. But if it's in the very moment, if we are together and you and she says something and you tell me what she said, then in that case you can continue using the same, the same time expression. Any other question? No questions. Are you sure? Claro. At this moment, we don't have questions. The question uh, uh, results of the platform. <laughs> oh my God. Of course. Yeah, I know whenever, I, I mean, when in my, we are alone. <laughs> and it's easier when you are writing, right? When you see something and you are thinking, so imagine when we speak. There, there, sometimes we don't even remember the grammar. We say, she told me, or she asked me, uh, do you want to, and then we use something different. And it's like, okay, we here understand, but anyways, in uh, other countries, they do not understand. Of course, we are going to practice. Yes, no question. So which one is the correct one? So read and choose the question that is reported correctly. The number one says, are you from France? And there are three options. He asked me if I am from France. He asked me if I were from France. He asked me if I was from France. So door number one, door number two, door number three. What is the answer? Number three. Number three, are you sure? Number it's two. Number two. Yeah, we're going to play yeah. Who Wants to Be Millionaire? Uh -huh. <laughs> ¿Cómo se pronuncia if. 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 Uh, if. 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 Mm -hmm. Ask it. He asked me if. I am from France. So you France. say number one, France, France. Fran uh, France. France. Uh, that okay. For me, number. is uh, number two. Number two. So he's winning number two. He asked me if I were from France. Yes. And the rest of the people? Yes. Number what? three. Number three. Uh -huh. Now it's getting interesting. Number one. No, number one, no. Number two, number three, there is. Number three. Uh, number three, let's see. Yes, actually it's number three. He asked me if I was from France. Teacher, because... in, in what situation is right that the past for the pronoun, the first person use where? For the example, in the task question, the is not a, uh, was I? Yeah. Is where I exactly. In, in what situation the past in the but to be in the first person change for where? 
Hey, there are two common situations. The first one is the one that you mentioned already about the tag questions. We never say I was. Was I? No, were I? That is the first one. The in other the one, condition too, yes, in the sentence of the condition, no. Yeah, but that's actually the second one. The second one is going to be when something is not real. For example, when you say, I wish I were in France, but you're not. You are here. So when you say I wish and you express something that you would like to, but it's not possible. I mean, it's, it's impossible because of many situations. I wish I were a millionaire. But I mean, I wish. here in El Salvador is very difficult, right? So, so <laughs> in that kind of situation, I don't know. Have you seen that, that grammar already? I don't remember if we are going to check that in this module. Wish and some unreal, I mean, there are many things that you use with wish, and one of those is the unreal part. So in that, you are going to use where, I wear, I wish I wear, right? But in the case, in the reported speech, yes, we, it's right uh -huh. to maintain the, the past for the first verse to be was. That is correct. That is correct. Very good. Uh, I was doing this, but do you know that there when, if, Sometimes you speak with a lot of people from India, or if you uh, go to India, I mean, when you say, do you understand? Some say like this, some do like this, some do like, I don't know, it's crazy. I, I just remember something that happened to me. That's kind of crazy. Okay, let's move on. Number two, do you live in Mexico? So the options are, she asked him if he lived in Mexico. She asked him if he lives in Mexico. He, she asked him, well, that doesn't have an A, that's weird. If he does live in Mexico, well, of course, number three is not the correct one. Okay, anyways. So, number four. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Anybody else? Options. Number two. Number two. So we have number two and we have number one. Who is going to win the million dollars? Well, number, uh, one. number one. Okay. Actually, yes, it's going to be number one. She asked him if he lived in Mexico. Why? Because do you live in Mexico? That is simple present. So we need to switch the verb into simple past tense. That is it, my friends. Let's check number three. Can you speak Italian? Io parlo italiano, ma devo practicare. So, what is the option? Uh, I asked you if you can speak Italian. I asked you if you could speak Italian. I asked you can, uh, that's weird. I asked you can, you, <laughs> I don't, can't say that. That is totally incorrect. When something is not correct, you know, it's very weird to say something. Is <laughs> that number two? Number two. Number two, teacher. Number, number one. S for, number for one. Can, number two. Uh, well, uh, cool. uh -huh. You me. are right. It's number two. I asked you if you cool. Remember that the can is going to switch to cool in that reporter speech. Like may to might, like will to world, and so on. Very good. You remember the class. That's good. I'm very happy. Nice. Do you have any questions before we move on? Of course, we are going to continue practicing because practice makes the teacher, the master. Teacher. What up? It's a. Eh, bueno, lo voy a decir en español porque es mentira, no lo puedo decir en inglés. Okay. Eh, el, el lunes estuvimos viendo eh, en el libro eh, unas, unas oraciones que en la primera se cambiaba el hub. Por el have, el have, por el has, con, con, con de al final. Con have. Entonces, ajá, entonces, yo tengo una, 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 una duda. A esa oración no solo se le iba a cambiar el have, ¿verdad? Habría que cambiar, si no me equivoco, hasta el... Hay un, creo que hay un verbo, parece que se le tenía que cambiar. Ok, uh, the thing is that... If you have something that is a simple past, okay. you, you switch that to past perfect. In the past perfect, the auxiliar for the past perfect is had. And then the uh -huh. other verb is in past participle. Okay, very good. Okay. But, 
that's fine that you can ask you can ask questions here that's not a problem okay let's continue are they cleaning their bedrooms so option the first option says the woman asked if they are cleaning their bedrooms the woman asked if they was cleaning their bedrooms the woman asked if they were cleaning their bedrooms so which one is the correct one number three number three Number three, everybody agrees? Yes. Yes. Good, this time you are so right. The woman asked if they were cleaning their bedroom. We don't know. So number five, do you have any brothers or sisters? And the options are the teacher asked me if I have any brothers or sisters, or the teacher asked me if I had any brothers or sisters, or the teacher asked me if I did have any brothers or sisters. Number two. Number two. Number two. Everybody agrees? Anybody else's? Yes. Great. Yeah. Very good. That is it. Nice. We're getting there. So now the other one, it says number six. Will you, that is only one option, I don't know. Uh, will you uh, take the exam soon? Will you, that is exam. Will you, oh, no. is you, no, your. Will you take the exam soon? Uh, okay, it's not, the other options are not there, but what will be the correct form? If I say, will you take the exam? You, okay, no, you You take the exam soon. What will be the answer? The report. Dad asked me if I would take the exam soon. Perfect, that is it. That asked me if I would take the exam soon. So remember that we need to listen so we can reproduce properly. More practice. I know that you want to practice. So now you are going to tell me what will be the correct form. Let's see that together, please. She said to him, have you got a computer? She say him to him how to get a computer. Mm -hmm. You have got have you get? had got it. Okay, Good. let's go step by step. The first part she say to him, what is going to be that one? They say to him. Have you got a computer? She, she told to him. Mm. No. Mm. Oh my God. She say, she say, you had got a computer. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she tell to say. him. <laughs> no. It's she tell no. to him. No. Oh. He or she, 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 she is fine. <laughs> and after that, she asked to him. She asked. Oh Remember that it's a question. Yes. Oh so God. if it's a question, we're going to use ask or maybe wonder. Okay. Oh so she asked him. Uh -huh, and after that, she and asked. She did if, 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 if you if, have got, got. Okay. you have got it. Very good. She, a she asked him if he has had, right? Had got or gotten, that is fine, a computer. Aha. Uh -huh. So you can see that it's different when we are alone, right? With no options. Let's see. Yeah. Number, uh huh. Y eh, una consulta, digo yo, no sé, no sé si la puede escribir la correcta acá para ubicarme mejor. <laughs> Porque no hacemos una cosa, cada quien la escribe y vamos a ver si queda bien. So that will be good. Mm, it's important okay. that you, you practice. I mean, I present you already the grammar and that's why we do it normally. And actually here I cannot write because this is a picture. But anyway, so just listen uh, to the option. It's going to be, she asked him, that is a rule. We're going to use asked or maybe wonder. 
if or whether, of course, any of those. And then we're going to change the, the tense of the verb. In this case, have you got is going to be had. You got a computer, had with D. Okay, let's work on the number two. Number two, it says, they say to me, can you type? How is going to be number two? They ask me. They ask me. Ask uh -huh. me if you couldn't type. Okay. No. Uh -huh. He asked me if, yes, I couldn't. I couldn't type. Oh, I, very good. I could type. That is it. So it's going to be, they asked me if I could type. So if you want to write it down, that is the option, okay? They asked me if I could type. That will be it. Okay, yes, now. They asked me. They ask me. Ask. They asked ask, ask ask me. me uh -huh. Can you type? If I could type. So remember that we're going to use if or whether. If is the most common, of course. So. They asked me if I could type. Okay, number three, I say to her, uh -huh. I say to her, have you been to Bristol before? I asked, I asked to her uh -huh. if, if, if she, if she, if she had been to Bristol before. Very good, that is it. <laughs> so I asked her, her right? in that case, the only thing is that yeah. you are not going to use to, just I asked mm -hmm. her, mm -hmm. I asked her if, if she had, had been, had been, had mm -hmm. with D, right? Had okay. been had to Bristol been. before. Okay. Very good, we're getting there. You see with the practice is better. Wow. Yes. We it's have better. practiced a million times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody has a question. If for this no expression, the time, yeah? No. Uh, no, 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 no. Before is fine because it's before, right? It's, that is not a, a problem. Okay, number four. He said to me, have you been to America? He asked me uh -huh. if if I have been to America. Very good. He asked me if I had been to America. Here we can emphasize with a before. Something might be good, but it's not necessarily either. Okay. Number okay. five. Has Carol talked to Kevin? My friend asked me. Has Carol talked to Kevin? Okay. My friend asked me. Oh, the change the order, my friend. Um, my friend asked me mm -hmm. uh, whether Carol had talked to Kevin. Very good. That is it. My friend asked me whether Karen had, had, right, with D, had talked to Kevin. That is perfect. I don't know why they are angry, but anyway, they are mad at them. Number six. Um, I have a question with the number five. Maybe we can say also, um, Carol, have a talk to Kevin, my friend asked me. Or also we have to begin with the, my friend asked me is, Carol, have a talk to Kevin. It's possible, but there are many other rules. So by now, we are going to do it in, the, uh, in, in one order also. Uh, it's going to be only my friend asked me if. Okay, it's possible to switch for, for that one. We need to go 
with other rules. So not yet, not yet. By now, it's going to be this way only, okay? Okay, number six. Will you be at the party? He asked her. Uh-huh. He asked her if I will, I don't know, I, where would you be at the party? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's going to be, he asked her <laughs> if, if it's fine. I could. If you. If I could be. Okay, let's remember that we need to think who is the conversation. Ah, okay. She, she, exactly. Could, she could be at the party. Okay, she asked her if she would be at the party. That is it. So the question here is the object, the pronouns, right? So it's going to be like that. He asked her if she would be at the party. And we change will because that is like a future, right? Will. So we change that for will. Good. So you can see that there are little details there that we need to be careful. Number seven, can you meet me at the station? She asked me. She asked me. She asked me. If if you could meet at the station. Mm -hmm. So she asked me if if could you meet or you could meet mm -hmm. I, could. I couldn't meet her at the station. I could. Remember yeah. that in this case, because it says she asked me if I could be. Mm. Okay. okay. So it's going to be like that. So she asked me if I could meet her at the station. And I say, I'm sorry, I have a girlfriend. Bye. So let's continue. Number eight. Have you tidied up your room? Your mother or the mother asked the twins. Ah, it's a nice one. So tidy it up is like clean, to have everything nice, okay? So the question is, how is the reporter speech here? The mother asked them if you have tidied up your room. Only one little thing is not yes. correct. If the mother asked them if uh, they have they have tied up their room. Very good. That is it. The person. That is it, right? So the mother, the mother asked them, you can say that. The mother asked them if they have had, remember, had tied it up their room. Oh, that is that is very important. That is very important. The person. Do you see that maybe the verb is easy, but the person is the one that we need to check into. That's the most important part. Good number nine. It says, have you been shopping? He asked us. He asked us if we have been shopping. Very good. He asked us if we had, we did, right? had been shopping. Very good. That is it. Nice. We're getting there. Number 10 says, Jing, have you seen my gloves? Thomas asked. Jing is she. Jing is she, of course. Uh, Thomas asked if 
is Jean. Is Jean. Uh, had uh, his seen his gloves. His gloves. <laughs> Very good. That is it. <laughs> so Thomas asked her, or Thomas asked Jean, if she had seen his gloves. That is a very nice one. Um, let's write that one because this is an important thing. Can you see what I'm typing? Yes, right, you, you can see that one, right? Jean, if she had seen his gloves. It's going to be like that. So Thomas asked Jean if she had seen his gloves. So can you see Thomas asked Jean, or you can say her, if she, because he's asking her, if she had seen, we change the verb, his, because it's glo uh, Thomas gloves. So it's going to be a possession gloves. That is it, very good. Questions? <laughs> Let's practice a little bit more. So can I sit beside you, Jean? Tom asked. Ah, this is very similar. Sure. Uh -huh. Is uh, Thomas asking, no lleva el mi? Porque está hablando de Jean. Uh, in, in this one, in number 11? Mm, no, in the anterior, in the que está escribido abajo. Aparte uh -huh. de esa, no lleva el, as, el, el mi. Ask el. Ask, uh, no, me. no entiendo cuál me. palabra, mi. No, es que allí habla Jim, no Ajá. habla uno. Ah, okay, okay. Es que Ajá. es como en español, vaya, imagínense que aquí yo le digo, imagínense que dice, uh, ¿cuál podemos ver? Uh, he said to me, la número cuatro, have you been to America? O sea, él me dijo a mí, me preguntó a mí. Entonces, mm. esta quedaría, eh, él me preguntó, en cambio aquí, Thomas le preguntó a Jean, yo ya ni voy ahí metido, ¿verdad? Thomas okay. le preguntó a Jean si ella, por eso va el she, había visto sus, el his es de él, de Thomas, sus, sus um, guantes. Entonces, por okay. eso es importante, porque si usted le dice, eh, Thomas preguntó si había visto mis guantes, entonces la persona le va a decir, ¿y cuáles guantes? ¿Cuáles los tuyos o los de ella? <risa> ok. So that's why it's very important. Okay. okay. Thank you. And that, uh, it's a pleasure. So, number 11. Can I see beside Eugene? Tom asked. How is going to be this one, my friends? Tom asked me if I. No. Tom asked me if he could sit beside me. Mm -hmm. Is correct? It's very good, but it's not correct. What number is? Number 11. Mm, maybe Tom asked me if he could sit beside me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, it's very good, but it's not correct. Okay, maybe the problem in this one is that the sentence is different, but look what it says. Tom it's asked, a, Tom can I see beside you, Jing? Jing? Cool, base. Tom asked cool. her. That is it. Tom asked her, not me. Tom asked her if I if he could sit beside her. Oh. Very good. Now it's oh. perfect. <laughs> okay. So you see that this is very important, right? Because we need to speak clearly in English, and that is very important. So the number eleven is going to be Tom asked her. Tom asked Jean if he cool seat beside her that is it because he's speaking with Jean. it doesn't say thomas me no right okay 
Number 12. Will you come to my party? She said to me. She asked me mm -hmm. if I would come to my party. Ah, almost, almost. Only one thing. Two, two. She asked me. She asked me if, uh -huh, if I would come to your party. Her party. Her party. Her party. Very good. <laughs> that is it. Almost. That is it. Yeah, but I mean, it's very important that you identify the two people that are speaking. The one who does the question and the one who receives the question. And sometimes I don't do anything. I'm I'm there just watching the conversation, right? I don't I don't participate. And this one is is something like like that, right? So she asked me if I will come to her party because it's her party. She asked me the question about that is it. okay. The dog wants to participate in English. Number thirteen. It says, can I borrow your typewriter, Janet? Asked Peter. Uh -huh. How's it going to be this? Peter asked. Peter asked. She has. Peter asked. If I could borrow your type what writer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Peter <laughs> asked, asked. If he could borrow. Okay, if he could borrow, that is fine. But Peter hair, asked her. Hair, very type good. Word. Ah, yeah. Type Peter asked water. Uh -huh. Very good. So it's going type to be Peter writer. asked her, her or Peter asked Janet uh -huh. if he if could he borrow, borrow her typewriter. Type 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 writer. That yeah. is it. So that's the thing. Peter and Janet, they are talking. So it's not me included, right? Peter asked Janet if he could borrow her typewriter. Can you see? The two same people are in the conversation. Her he, her, he, she, him. That is it. I do not participate. I'm just watching the conversation there. Okay, good. Let's check number 14. Will I find a job? Tim said to himself, oh, this is a good one. Tim. Tim. Tim asked ask to, ask to himself. himself. Okay, Tim yeah. asked himself it's a, a reflection teacher mm -hmm. it's a reflection okay. yes he asked himself if he uh, if yes. he will he find a job if he will John asked ask to himself find find a job. a job very good so yeah Tim Ooh. asked himself if he will find a job in this one also we can say Tim wondered right? Mm, okay. Tim wondered if he will find a job. In that case, it's perfect wonder because he's speaking with himself, right? Good. Nice. Um, number 15. Can I have a new bicycle? Say Anna to her mother. No, Anna, it's not possible. Anna asked to her mother mm -hmm. if she could have a new bicycle. Very good. Anna asked to her mother. If she... Oh, it will be not to. Anna asked her mother ah, Anna asked if her he mother. could have a new bicycle. If she could have a new bicycle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. Nice. Good. Then we have number 16. Have you had enough for lunch? The landlady asked us. Landlady is like when you go to a hotel, for example, the owner or the one that is in the, in the kitchen or something like that. The one that is the host is the landlady, okay? So that is going to be like that. It's, uh, that is English from England. 
Okay, have you had enough for lunch? The landlady asks. In mind if I say that in English for you. Have you had enough for lunch? The landlady asks. And you will say, I'm sorry, could you please repeat? What will be the reported speech question? The landlady asks us okay. if, if we have if we have enough for lunch. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the landlady asks us Access. if if we had a have uh -huh. to have enough for lunch. That is it. Very good. So it's going to be like the landlady asked us if we had had to have had had mm -hmm. enough for lunch, and we say no. We want more. Please give me more food. So had had. The first hat is the auxiliary. Teacher, uh -huh. And the grammar is correct. Uh, had, had. Yes. That's in why the, I was telling in you. In the uh -huh. same time. Yeah, because in the, the one that you see there in the, in, on the screen, it says, have you had enough? That is present perfect. Have, had. But if you mm -hmm. transform that into past perfect, is had. The first one is the auxiliary. And had, the second mm -hmm. one is the verb. So it's not the okay. same. It's like when you say, you. do you do? So do, the first one is the auxiliary. And you do, the second one is the verb. So the same is here. Okay. Very okay. good. Yes, very good. We are understanding and we're practicing. Let's continue. Number 17. Will she keep her money at home? I asked him. I asked him if... Uh, I asked him if he would give his money at home. Okay, I asked him if she, if if she will would, uh, will, huh? would give uh, his money at home. Very good. Um, no, her money, that, will, that won't change. Her so, money. Yeah. That won't change. Oh. I asked him if she will keep her money at home. Not safe, but sometimes with the crisis in the banks, sometimes it's better. Okay, then number 18 has, it says, have you seen the dog? He asked Tom. There is a cricket some, somewhere there. <laughs> he asked Tom mm -hmm. if he had he seen the dog. Very good. So. It's going to be, he asked Tom if he had seen the dog. If he had seen the dog. That is it. Mm -hmm. Good. Number 19. Has she made a cake? I asked. <clears throat> he, uh, I ask. I ask if if had I made a cake. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, no. I ask if he had make a cake. Okay, now it's better. I ask, in this case, we have to say something. We have to say, I ask him or I ask her. Since we don't have the person here, we can use any. I ask her is the most common. I ask okay. her if he has, he had made a cake. That is it. He had made a cake. Teacher, so, in, in, in that case, uh, can be only I ask. No, if you wish, uh, ask, we have to say somebody. I ask him or oh, I ask her. Okay. What we can do is we can say, I wonder. Mm. I wonder if he has made a cake. Had made a cake, I'm sorry. Mm, okay. That is it. And the last one. Have you forgotten the address? She asked me. Mm -hmm. Mm 
he asked me if I had forgotten the address. Very good. She asked me if I had forgotten the address. Perfect. Very good. Do you have any questions? I know that might be a little bit confusing. You need to practice. I mean, this is like when you are learning to drive a car and you are afraid to park the car, right? You need to practice. That's the only way. So, good. We are going to check the attendance. It's nine already, imagine. Okay. So, Ada, Patricia, Linares, Galdamez. Present, teacher. Good. Adriana, Stephanie, Martinez, Flores. Present, teacher. Good. Ana, Selmi, Chavez. Present, teacher. Good. Carmen, Jasmine, Lopez, Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria, Elizabeth, Linares, Galdamez. Here. Good. Guadalupe, Del Carmen, Lopez, Flores. Present, teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posa Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. Sandra Gladys Mendes. Aquí estoy, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, and Sandra uh, Gladys Mendes Ramirez is here. No, it's not. Okay, oh, this got stuck. Okay, here we go. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Yes, Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, so we are going to continue. We're going to continue with the book, actually. But before that one, let's practice the grammar that we checked today. Let's see how it goes. Okay. We are going to do it like this. I will ask somebody to say a question. So please be ready with a question, any question. And then I'm going to ask other person to do their reporter speech. Do you understand what we're gonna do? Okay, let's make it. Osmin, tell me a question, any question. In okay. any tense. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, and the question this moment is uh, where, where live you? Where do you live? Exactly. No, but we're going to stick with just no questions. Okay, only just no questions. For example, do you live in San Salvador? Ah, exactly. Okay. So we're going to take that one. Do you live? So Osmin says, uh, do you live in San Salvador? Let's see. Da, 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 Jasmine. Osmin asked the teacher if he lived in San Salvador. Okay, very good. Perfect. That is it. Nice. Now, Jasmine, tell me one question, any question. Do you have pets? Do you have pets? Very good. Let's see, Anna, sell me. 
report a speech. Report a speech. Just mean ask the teacher if he had a pet. Very good. If he had pets. Very good. Nice. Now, Ana, send me a question. Any question in any tense. Do you like to eat dessert? Do you like to eat dessert? Very good. Lourdes, report a speech. Ana, send me as to. To. No. Ana, send me as. Uh, we ask we or ask the teacher ask the teacher uh, if he if he if he did he likes the dessert and I don't I don't remember the question the question is do you like to eat dessert Ah, uh, eat. Uh, and I tell me as the teacher if he uh, if he did you did he <laughs> no help me please <laughs> i'm gonna help you the, the practice is for this one it's better that you do mistakes here and not in new york of course so it's going to be like anna selmi asked the teacher if he liked to eat dessert uh, like, the auxiliary no no auxiliary goes home uh, okay. Okay. So, Lourdes, a question. Tell me a question in any tense. Okay. Uh, Actually, I like to eat dessert. Uh huh. And Lourdes. Uh, will you? Will you go to the party? Will you go to the party? Very good, thank you. Zulma, report a speech. Sorry, uh, you, can you repeat the question, please? L okay. Lourdes, could you please? Will you go to the party? Lourdes asked me if I will went to the party mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so first thing Lourdes asked me not you uh -huh. okay yeah so who's gonna okay. be Lourdes asked the teacher if he went to the party only went is the word that I don't like Remember the question is, will you go to the party? Will you go to the party actually? So uh, the question at uh, the report speech has to be, remember that when we use will, do you remember what is the word that we have to use in the report speech? Uh, will. Exactly. Will. So how is it going to be then? Uh, Lourdes asked to the teacher if he will go to the party very good now we are fine what time is the party load no it's not true okay so uh, Zulma, could you please tell me one question any question in any tense present future past present continuous okay um uh, have you work tomorrow Okay, that is good, but we're going to change tomorrow because present perfect is in the past, right? Have you worked, mm -hmm. let's say, have yesterday. you worked another, mm, but yesterday is not possible, the present perfect. So let's do it like this. Have you worked in another country? Something like that might be. Okay. Good, Sulma. So the question from Sulma, everybody, 
is, have you worked in other country? And the reported speech goes for, goes to Sandra Romero. Could you repeat the question, teacher? Yeah, Zulma asked me, uh, have you worked in other country? Zulma asked me if I work in another country. Okay, but he, she asked me, not you, right? She asked, Zulma asked to the teacher if he worked in another country. Worked. Mm -hmm. Had worked. Had worked, very good, that is it. So that is it, uh, Zulma asked the teacher if he had worked in another country. Yes, I have, very good. So Sandra Romero, could you please tell me a question in any tense, present, past, future, can, cool, my, whatever you want. I really love to eat pizza. No, but it's a just no question, please. Okay. Um, Sulma has two kids. Okay, that is a very nice question. So the question is, Maybe it's a, if it's a just no question, it's going to be, uh, does Zulma have two kids? That is the nice question. Very good. Thank you. And this one is going to go for, let's see, na, 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 na. Michelle. Oh, Michelle says that is only listening. Okay. Pamela. Uh, can you repeat the question? Okay, Sandra asked me. Yeah. Zulma, ha does Zulma has two kids? Um, um, <laughs> she asked to teacher to the if teacher. Zulma has two kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually had because she says does, right? So that is fine. Perfect, Pamela. Very good. <laughs> Pamela, one question in any uh, tense. Uh, do you like to buy online? Do you like to buy online? Well, I don't know if Zulma has two kids to be on a vision. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, do you like to buy online? So this is going to be for Carla. And Pamela asked the teacher if if he liked if, if he liked buy online. If he liked to buy online. Very good, perfect. Carla, one question in any tense. Um, do you do you want do you want travel? Do you want to travel? Very good. Let's see. This is going to be for Guadalupe. Can you repeat the, the question, please? Yeah, Carla, could you please repeat the question that you made to me? Do you want to travel? Do you want to travel? Uh -huh. Carla asked the teacher um, if he wants to travel. If he wanted. Want to travel. Very good. Yeah, actually, this year, next year, probably. Very good. <laughs> Okay, well, Lupe, one question, the last one. This is the last question. Well, Lupe, tell me one question in any tense that you may want. Okay, and do you celebrate the Mother's Day? Do you celebrate Mother's Day? Okay, very good. And this one is going to be for Ada Patricia. Mm. Uh, Guadalupe asked the teacher if he, uh, the question, please. Uh, the question the, is: the, the do, you, uh, do you uh, celebrate? Uh, okay, do you right. celebrate that mother? Okay, so mother. it's going to be like this. Uh, did, uh -huh. uh, well, Lupe asked the teacher if he celebrated. Celebrate, celebrated. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. That is it. Perfect. Very good. 
Okay, my friends, I guess that now is a little bit better. Now we understand a little bit better. I know that some situations might be confusing, but what we need to do is to listen and check who is asking the question and who is receiving the question. And then remember to switch back the verb. That is the key of success on this topic. We are going to continue uh, with the book. Uh, where is the book? Here is the book. Okay, so we were checking uh, this little reading yesterday, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. Uh, what is, is this? Uh, no, it was this. So we didn't check some. No, it's not this one, right? I'm a little bit confused. Where is it? Pillows. We haven't done this one, right? Ah, yeah, actually, this is this moved everything. Okay, hold on a second. He is going to be this this one. Yeah, this is it. Okay, we were checking about this reading and we didn't check some uh, vocabulary. So I want to check some vocabulary. It says in 1989, after leaving the government, George Jack Magrup, 18 people, including himself. Yes, the, it, the, I'm sorry, teacher, the last classes we read, we read this. Yes, uh, but uh, we didn't check some vocabulary, some words. Thank you, teacher. Very good. So it says, solving a journal for now, let me just uh, facilitate in trade. Uh, do you remember what is trade? Trade. Operation. It's like a commercial. deal. Okay, it's like a deal, like an operation when you oh, change. Deal. Okay, very good, nice. Uh, let's see, in early stages, what is stages? It's just in the early position. It's like steps, maybe? Like steps, positions, levels, no, something like that. that, right? Very good. And it says, might try to raise funds. What is raise funds? Increase financial. Mm. Okay. Money, money, okay. money. <laughs> Yeah, it's a way for you to get some money. I mean, in this case, he had a very good idea, but he didn't have a product. And he was looking for investors, people that is going to inject some financial uh, then into the project, right? Uh, you know what is Silicon Valley, of course. Uh, and then it says the tech hub. What is hub? Do you remember? Is a center. Okay, very good. A center is like a place where everybody goes there, right? So that is like a hub. And remember that a hub can be like uh, something where the where the ships come, right? So in this case, is where everybody in technology comes to uh, denials. What is denials? Anybody knows? Negative. Negative. Yeah, it's when you request something and the answer is no. No, right, I'm sorry, I can't. And his business model was criticize. What is to criticize? Receive a lot of opinions. A lot of opinions, some mm. of them negative, right? So it's like, mm, this is not good. Okay, unprofitable. Do you know what is unprofitable? Don't get gains. To not get, uh, don't have any gains. You don't have any money from a business, right? So you're losing money. And unsustainable, what is unsustainable? No, maintain the business in the large time. Very good. 
is when you can keep the business running in the long term. Good. Uh, let's see what else. What is, uh, no, we know that one already. Let me see. Strain, what is strain? Strength like a, like a, uh, oh my God, like a force. Okay, like a force. So in this case, it's like a situation. It's like, uh -huh. it's like oh my God, it's like a, uh, you know, under significant fin financial strength. Oh my God, it's like a financial, can you say tension? Maybe? Tension. tension. Yeah. yeah. Very good. So it's like, my goodness, I'm going to lose everything, right? I need money right here. Okay, stay afloat. What is that? To stay afloat. Try, yeah. uh, try to, to do, to, oh my God, making the, the business, uh, oh my God. You try to do your business, don't get down, maybe. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Take on the business. Uh -huh. Maintain the business. To make or it. keep on business. Okay, keep with the business. I mean, to stay afloat is when you, I mean, it's like in the water, right? When you don't want something to sink, right? That is it. Uh, and then it says policy. What is a policy? Policy. And the policy is the, oh my God. Um, a rule? Or... Yeah, rules. Some rules. Very that good. You have to, yeah. you have to, that you have to uh, give it a cabo. <laughs> Uh, compliance. <laughs> compliance, yes. Yeah, policy is a set of rules or something that you need to do so to keep something working right. Uh, then it says, let me check. Mm, I guess, oh, okay, this one, measured. What is measured? Quantify. Very good. To quantify something, to measure. So we measure, actually, we can measure everything, right? Time, uh, life, whatever you want. So you remember that one, right? So we're going to check the answers for this question. What was the goal to found Alibaba? Do you remember? It's A, B, or C. To sell more products online, to win over eBay, to facilitate international trade in China. What was the goal? To facilitate international trade in China. Okay, to facilitate international trade in China. Good. Number two, when was Taobao.com launched? Mm, we need to move back. 2003. 2003. Very good. It's here. Nice. Okay. Very nice. So number three, how did Ma keep the commission-free policy at Taobao.com? By offering value-added service. Very good. By offering value-added services. And number four, where did Jack Ma look for funds in the early stages of Alibaba? Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Very good. Valley. Valley. Okay. And there are some um, things. So for the first one, it says international trade. So there are two options. The exchange of capital goods and services across international borders of territories or the exchange of domestic goods within the boundaries of a country. Which one is the correct one? The first option. Actually, it's the first. Actually, that is very clear. International, right? So it's across the international borders. Number two, Tech Hub is a company expanding through technology or a community that promotes innovation for technology startup companies. What do you 
think. A company expanded through technology. A company, uh, well, actually, no, it's the other one. A it's community. going to be a community that promotes promote innovation. innovation. Sort of like. innovation. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, do you know what is, uh, everybody, what is a startup company? A startup company. Start mm -hmm. yeah. Startup when some when something is is among in the beginning. Maybe. Very good. Beginners. Start so, when start start up. That <laughs> is company it. start start in in the first steps to function like a company. Definitely. That is it. a startup company. It's a company that is a new one and it's beginning business. Uh -huh. Okay, unprofitable. A business not yield in profit or financial gain, or a business or activity yield in profit or financial gain. This is an easy one. Not gelding? Not gelding, definitely. Because it's unprofitable. Yeah, it's unprofitable. Good. And commission free is a form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its services or a remuneration for services provided or products sold. A form of payment. A form, a of, form payment. of payment a company chooses not that to is. charge for the service. Perfect. That is it. Very good. Let's continue. So it says how to use report speech imperative. This is a review, of course. Uh, let's see. Uh -huh. Well, Lupe, could you please read about this one? A sentence expression. Yeah, please. Okay, a sentence express expressing. <laughs> A common request, advice, or suggestion is called an imperative sentence. You should learn from your co competitor, competitor. But, never, competitor, but never copy. Jack Ma. Jack Ma recommends to learn from our competitor, but never copy. Some spe specific verbs are required, required to change as imperative sentence into report, speech, ag request, request, order, advice, and su su suggested. 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 In instead of the reporting verb, say or and told. Never give up uh, enter, entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs recommend to never give, give up. The most important thing in, in e-commerce, Jack, Jack Ma, say is act with pa pa passion. The most important thing in e-commerce, Jack, Max suggests is to add with passion. Very good. So what I look to explain already. Do you remember, right? The imperatives that we're going to use to, to and the verb, like an infinitive. So for example, never give up. Entrepreneurs recommend to never give up. And we don't change in the imperative. We don't change the tense of the verb. Okay, that is the most important part in the imperatives. And here we can say that uh, we are also check that we can use requested, order, advice, suggested. Remember that we can also use asked. Do you have any question about this review? Okay, no questions. So we're gonna do the number seven. Read the following quotes by entrepreneurs doing business online. Rewrite them using reporter speech compare your answers. Of course, we are going to do it together. So the number one, everybody says, only hire people who you will work for, Mark Zuckerberg. 
how is going to be their reporter speech. Hello. Da, 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 da. I don't remember the lyrics. Uh, hi, anybody? It's uh, only high people for you were who were for. Uh, Sai is Max Zuckerberg. Okay, just remember that it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, suggests and then we're going to say uh, only two hire so the two is important there to hire people who you will work for so the rest is going to be exactly the same perfect thank you ricardo number two it says concentrate on the long term larry page how is going to be the report speech here larry page say to concentrate on the long term. Very good, perfect, that is it. Larry okay. Page say to concentrate on the long term. Long term. Very okay. Good. Number three, I make user experience your competitive advantage, add on Levy. Add on Levy say, okay. to, make. to make user experience your competitive advantage. Very good. I don't let me uh, say it or suggest it or whatever you want to use there uh, to make user experience your competitive advantage. Good. Number four, do you Houston? Well, well, actually, I was going to say the answer. Learn a lot really fast from doing things wrong. Do you Houston? Do you Houston step to learn a lot really fast from doing things wrong? Perfect, that is it. Do Houston say to learn a lot really fast from doing things wrong? Hmm? Not always true, but yeah, in the most of the cases. Number five, focus on the customer, not the product. Tony, uh, that is Z. Tony, <laughs> suggest to focus on the customer, not, to the, not the product. Very well, perfect. And the last one. Mm -hmm. Get used to rejection, Jack Ma. Uh -huh. Jack Ma suggested to get used to rejection. Very good. Jack Ma suggested to get used to rejection. Yeah. Yeah, that is actually true for entrepreneurs. If you want to run a business, uh, we're going to do this. Okay. So, oh my goodness, we are in unit two already. That's nice. E shopping issues. I will be able to explain the most common issues related to product quality when shopping online. So, the number one it says Do you always read reviews before buying a product from an online store? Uh, hi, everybody. Do you always? read reviews before buying a product from an online store what do you think what what do you do yes i do you do okay and what happens when you find negative reviews i evaluate that uh, is my risk of continuing the process to to buy with the specific uh, site or uh, change the I find I try to find the other the other site. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, anybody else has a, an opinion? Do you always read reviews before buying a product from a long online store? This year is very important to review the comments about the product because it's very important know uh, about the quality product. Do you have do you want to buy? Exactly. That is very, very important. I mean, 
probably not always. I mean, sometimes you you can lose five, ten bucks, but if you wanna buy a cell phone or a television or computer. Anything, a computer, I mean, it's a lot of money. You want that to to work for a long time, right? So, okay. And then it says, what do you do when you order a product and receive something faulty or different from your order? I think that here, here in El Salvador, you can do so much about it because um, we have to be carefully to choose the product because some companies doesn't change. Also in the, in the policies, they say um, no change. How do you say no, no returns? No returns accepted. No That's return, true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, that is sadly is true here in El Salvador, right? Um, I believe that two things happen. The first one is the one that you said that I mean, they the people they they believe that you broke the thing that you didn't do the thing properly and many things, and sometimes we are so used to that that we never say anything. But I mean, I have some friends that they always, whenever something is not correct, they call, they do whatever. And sometimes they get a, a change and exchange. They, they don't pay for things. Um, so my advice for you in the future is to try to say to anybody, I mean, if you're in a restaurant and the food is not good, you can call and say, this food is not good, man, I'm sorry. And that depends on the, depends on the company if they are going to provide you with with something or at least change the food or anything, right? Um, but it's a good, good thing. If we in El Salvador, if we, everybody does something like that uh, and we, or, or we do bad reviews online, of course, things are going to change, definitely. There is a little conversation here. Emily is telling Diego about an online order for shoes she just placed. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. As usual, I'm going to say first the pronunciation. Then we're going to have pronunciation questions. You are going to do the conversation. And then we're going to check vocabulary and the exercise that is always below that. So here it goes. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on site. So I think I made a good choice of, with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know the seller could pass fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Good. Pronunciation questions. Teacher, what is uh, you can uh, pronunciate uh, order? And ordering, what is the correct pronunciation? Yeah, this one is ordered with ordered. the ordered, and this is ordering. Okay, order, order. Any other question? I guess this is, is a kind of is it, uh -huh. and the rap is pronunciation correct? Oh. Where is that one? I just don't get it. Diego. Diego. I should go and order stuff online. Order so should... It's in this part. Uh, it's or, or in part. It ended up. Okay. Ended up. Ah, uh, ended up. Yeah, it I up. remember. Okay. Yeah, ended up. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other question? Can you please uh, pronounce the last uh, word from Diego in the last paragraph, please? 
Purchase. 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 Okay. Purchase. Okay, my friends, we are going to practice then. Let's see, Rose and Jasmine. <coughs> Okay, Jasmine. Um, you will be Emily or Diego? Okay, hi Emily. Okay. Go ahead. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in the stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts but I go on the wrong side in color. Then I have to ship the package back to get the ring items. If it's enough, they get more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that seller could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issue with your purchase. Purchase. Okay, now Wendy and Osmin. Okay. I am Emily. Okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got them. Um, Excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You could be careful when ordering a stuff online. This time I ordered a sound chip, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right item. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of posit positive review on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shoes. These shoes. These shoes. Sorry, teacher, thanks. I read a lot of review too, but I didn't know that sort of code post fight review. You may want to go and dub. What is dub dub? Double check to avoid any use with your purchase. Issues. Issues with your purchase. Jeez. Issues with your purchase. Okay. Thank you. Now Ada, Patricia, and Carla Vasquez. Me and you start. Okay. okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in store, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right item. It items. Item in, excuse me? Items, the right items. The right items, it ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive review on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shows. I read a lot, a lot of review too, but I didn't know that seller would post fake review. You may want to go and double check the, uh, to avoid any issues with your purses. Very good, perfect. Now, Anna Selmi and Wilfredo. Um, um, okay. I am Emily Wilfredo, are you okay? Yes, yes, it is okay. <laughs> I just yeah. ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can even believe it. You should be careful when ordering stuff, stuff online. 
Last time I ordered some shirts, but I I got to grow size and color. Then I have to chip the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't I didn't know that seller could post fake reviews. You may want to go to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Very good, perfect. Now Guadalupe and Walter Morales. Okay. Who is that? Uh, Emily. Okay. I just ordered uh, a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in store, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful. We are already store online. And last time I ordered some here, and but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get in the reference and even put being more expensive. Being more expensive. Being more expensive. Thank you. Well, I read a lot of possible reviews on the site. So I think I made good choice choice with the with these shoes. I had a lot of rights to reviews too. Reviews too. But I didn't know that selling cold push face and reviews you many want to to go and double check to avoid abuses and with your purchase. 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 Very good. Now Gloria and Pamela. I heard Pamela. Okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in a store, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful. When ordering stuff online, last time I ordered some shirt, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. I ended end up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on this site. So I think I made a good choice with their with these shoes i read a lot of reviews too but i didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews you may want to go and double check the avoid any issues with my with your purpose very good perfect now uh, zulma and ricardo okay. Amy. i just Order a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive, expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can even believe it. You you surely be prepared be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some chips, but uh, I got the wrong size and color. They in I have to ship the package, but to get the right item, items, the items, it's even uh, being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews to buy ID. Now uh, that's silly, 
full post fight review you might want to go and double check to abide any user which you purchase. Purchase. Okay, good. Purchase. Now, uh, Nelson and Ophelia. Okay, teacher. Okay, you start, Ophelia. Okay, I whose order our print host choose I, online. I guess are very spring in a store, but in God and excellent, they are online. I can no ever I be given it. You should be careful when orders to no, no, no. online. Last no, no. time and I ordered some some sure, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to cheat to package bags to get the right item. In adding the app begin more expensive. <laughs> I will, I feel, I love us possible receiving on the city. I sue, I thank you, I mother, I go, choose, we, I guess, cho cho choose. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that that seller could post fake review. You may want to go and double check to avoid my, to avoid any issue with your purchase. Perfect, thank you. Now uh, let's see Sandra and Adriana. Sandra Romero. Okay, I start. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe believe it. Hello, Sandra. Are you here with us? I guess not. Okay, Lourdes, could you please continue? Okay. You should be careful when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to chip the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site. So I think I made a good shoes shows with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too. But I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with the with your purchase. Purchase. Very good, perfect. Um, Michelle and her sister, I guess they're just listening. Okay, so we're going to check some pronunciation things. Uh, remember, this is going to be. Let me see. Stores, excellent. Deal, this is deal. Uh, you should go. Stuff, this is stuff. Let's see. Right. Items, remember this is items. Uh, let's see, reviews, the shoes. Reviews. I guess, ah, well, this is fake, but uh, almost everybody did it right. Well, let's check some vocabulary now. Let's see, what is a pair? How do you explain that, a pair? Two. Very good. Two. Two, two of something. Two things. Two okay. Things. Uh, stuff. What is stuff? Things. Something. Some things, right? Things in general. Good. Uh, let's see what it will be. Uh, being. Well, that is kind of easy. It's like to be something, right? when something is going to be or okay. something like that. Let's see what else. Sorry. This is um, a good thing. Fake reviews. Do you know what is a fake review? False. False. It's when someone gives her opinion 
But it's not true. That is true. Sometimes, you know, uh, that happens a lot uh, with people in China. They, because they want to sell more products, sometimes they put reviews themselves from the product. So that happens sometimes. Uh, avoid. Uh, the rest, I guess, we know it. Okay, let's check the questions here. What should you do before buying from an online store? What do you think? According to verify if the site web is correct, or also verify uh, the customer service in order to call and ask more doubts that you can have. Very good. That is a very nice answer. Nice. Number two says, what tips would you give your partner to avoid fake reviews online? What do you think? Maybe teacher, uh, we have to be, they have to be sure about the site web, for example, because sometimes could be uh, fraud. How do you say in English? Fraud. Fraud. Yes. Sometimes okay. I prefer that uh, when someone uh, has a review, uh, put a photos. I prefer when someone put photos, uh, the real photos about the product. That is a very good tip. When you see the people getting the product or enjoying the product or anything like that, definitely. So it's, you know that those reviews are good. Okay, number three, what can you do if you receive damaged items from an online purchase? Notify that company that you got that product. Okay. Definitely. You need to call them or chat with them or send an email and let them know. It's going to depend on them. But remember that if you are not satisfied, if you are a customer that is not satisfied, you are going to put a bad review or you are going to say to everybody, right, don't buy here. This is not good. I never purchased there. Because if your experience is bad and somebody else is asking your opinion, definitely something you are going to say something negative about that one, right? Very good. Do you have any questions before we move on? No questions. Okay. So um, do you have any questions about anything in the class? About the report speech and just no questions? I know that that grammar sounds like difficult, but you just need to practice. You see at the beginning, it's like, what do I say here? Then it was fluent. Of course, this was just one class. If you stop, if you stop the practicing here about this, in the future, you won't remember. That is for sure. I know that we have a job, we have family, we have, we, we want to sleep and many things. A few minutes. I mean, it's not all day long. 20 minutes, 10 minutes a day is good enough, of course. Perfect, so if you don't have any other questions, we're going to check about the attendance of today, of course. Here we go. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria, well, I'm sorry, Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. The one and one is for you today, Guadalupe. Okay. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz, Ira, Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. The present teacher. Good. Ofelia, or, good night. Ofelia Orellana Arte. Okay. Osmin Baires Solorzano. 
Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Oh, no, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Perfect. Okay, my friends, it was I a pleasure. My I'm sorry. I know listen my name. Really? really? My goodness. Okay, but I, I said it here. I okay. got it. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. It, sometimes it's a confusion or a cutoff or many things like that. Perfect, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. It uh, was really nice. Um, Try to practice. Remember to do the platform today and see you tomorrow. Dream in English. Good night and see you. Good night. Tomorrow. See you. Bye. See you. Hello, Guadalupe. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Mm, fine. Okay, very well. So, um, well, you know, uh, we have the experience on this one and I would like to ask you, how do you feel that you are moving on with the English classes? Mm. For today, I, I feel good. Okay. I understand okay. more the topic. Good, perfect. I know the grammar has been a little bit um, complicated, but if you practice, everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. Very good. And uh, by any chance, do you have any question about any topic that we have checked this module or the last module? Mm. No, only the, the uh, today when uh, use the the repeat, uh, report the uh, speech. Mm -hmm. All, always use the ask when a question, when a answer. Always use which word? I'm sorry. Ask. Ask, yeah. Uh, ask, maybe it's possible to use wonder. You can say wonder it, and when you use wonder it, you are not going to use to me or me or her or anything like that. So you can say, um, Peter wondered if, and in the other ones, Peter asked me. So that is the difference. But the most common, the most common is uh, asked. And remember that we're going to use if or whether, mm -hmm. and we switch, we switch the um, the verb with the with the subject on that one. So that is going to be the only thing. Okay. Very good. Do you have any other question about any other topic, any other thing? No, for the moment not. Very well. How do you feel that you are, I mean, what is the most difficult for you when you are learning English? I mean, to, to write, to read, to speak, to listen? Mm, when I, I read the, the, the text, text? A text, uh-huh. Uh -huh. um, it's very confused the, the com comprensión. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you believe that happens? It's because you don't know some vocabulary or you don't know mm -hmm. the idea? 
Maybe the idea. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. I guess that a very good exercise that you can do is to research for uh, in YouTube, there are channels for that one where you can see the paragraph and the people are reading. So you can listen to the pronunciation. And it's a very good exercise as well, because if you see some words that are new vocabulary, you can look for them in the dictionary. But try also not to use a translator, try to use a dictionary. Because when you use a dictionary, you are going to understand the usage of the word, not the meaning, but how do you use the word? And also you will find examples for the usage of the word. And also you will find other things like synonyms, antonyms, things like that. So that is a very good exercise. That is something that you can do. And also you can read in English, try to read short stories that are not that complicated. I mean, things that are, you can start with stories for kids. So you can check some vocabulary or things that are not like Shakespeare or anything like that. That is not good because it's, the words are very complex, you know. But if you do readings like regular readings, you are going to find very, very good vocabulary and try to understand the words. Remember also that if you go uh, there, you can use the translator. When you want to know the pronunciation of a word, you can put it there in the translator in Google Translator and you listen to the pronunciation of the word. So you can practice in many ways. Okay. Very good, very good. Uh, do you have any other thing that would you like to share or anything like that? No. Okay, we have a few minutes. Let's practice then. We have three more minutes. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm oh, fine. And you? I'm very well. And where do you live? I live in, in Lourdes, Colombia. Ah, very well. And do you work there in Lourdes? No, I work in Santa Tecla. So do you travel every day? Yes. Is, is it complicated to travel? I mean, for, because of the traffic? Yes, uh, almost uh, sometimes. How, how much time, one hour? Uh, depends, when the traffic is in fluent, it's 30 minutes. Mm, when 30 the minutes traffic is terrible, two hours. Two hours, really? That is crazy. Do you see a difference between, let's say, Mondays and Fridays in the traffic? Can you repeat? Yeah. Do you believe that there is a difference in traffic in there in Los Chorros uh, in Mondays and Fridays? Yes. Um, maybe the, the Thursday is different. The ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. I didn't know that thing. And um, what do you usually do on your free time? Um, and sometimes the Sunday, uh, I do, right? Okay. Okay, very well. And uh, do you have hobbies or anything like that? Mm, no, only uh, maybe uh, watch movie. Okay. That is very good. Perfect. Okay, well, Lupe, it was a pleasure to be with you. See you tomorrow. Remember that if you have questions, you can ask me in the class, you can chat uh, in the group, or you can chat with me directly. And of course, it will be a pleasure to help. Okay, teacher. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Bye-bye and good night. Okay. Good night.